I'll get some to uh, do some comments right now. Uh, Tech wanted it more. Once again, our guys thought they could just show up in their Texas uniforms and wins. I'm not sure it's our guys. I don't think it's the players. I'm done blaming players. It can't be this many players in a row that we bring in. It's the guys coaching these players. It's the guys that we choose to uh, put these players in the system in. Like, see, so you're telling me that every player under Charlie Strong felt this way. Every player under, um, at the end of Mac Brown's era, felt this way. Every player under Tom Herman felt this way. Every player under Steve Sarkeesian felt this way. I think we're getting these guys that aren't pushing us to where we need to be. Or maybe we do. There could be a couple guys on our team that um, don't play to the standard that is set forth, but. There's something wrong, guys. I don't know what it is. I don't know who's responsible, but it just keeps happening, and we don't play to the standard. If you look back at those early 2000 Mac Brown teams, they play to a standard. Look at some of those scores versus those uh, teams, guys. They would destroy teams, absolutely annihilate them. They might have one, maybe two games a year where they play down a competition, but the problem is, and I'm okay with that. We would, D4, would you not take one to two games a year where you play down to your competition? I mean, right now we're getting a half our schedule that we play down to. Uh, this, this game shouldn't have even been close. Uh, our coaching staff played not to lose in the second half, and that's pitiful. And like I said before, it's piss poor. And it's just <laughs> Sark had a chance to get his record at Texas to a 500 and didn't get it done. And the thing is that scares me about this performance, you saw what Donovan Smith was able to do. JT Daniels, if he gets time next week, is going to be able to do that to the umpteenth degree, guys. That guy is way better than Donovan Smith. He's going to be able to dice us up if we don't decide to come out and we want to play. And if we just keep running the Wildcat the whole game, I'm sure West Virginia, even though they're an atrocious defense, will be able to stop it because Texas Tech is probably a little bit better on defense than West Virginia, but they're not world beaters on defense. And we just kept running the same play calls out of the same formation. And don't get me wrong, Xavier Worthy getting hurt definitely hurt the offense because there was no deep threat really after that. But you have if Sarks, if Steve Sarkeesian, who's who we think he is, which is one of the three best play callers in college football, then he's got to be able to scheme up plays to get us shots down the field. Hudson Card, I didn't even think played that bad today. I thought he had a decent game overall. Yeah, Hudson Card, uh, 20 of 30, 277 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. I mean, you can't really ask a backup quarterback to do more, more than that, guys. And he was mobile with his legs. When he decided to run, he took off and he went with authority. But, I mean, he needs help, um, especially as a backup, and we did not give him that at all. I mean, there, I didn't realize that when Xavier Worthy caught the touchdown. That was our first touchdown to a wide receiver. It's taken us four games to get a touchdown with a wide receiver. That should not happen. Yeah, I I kind of knew better than uh, you know with the Alabama game. I'm still a realist when it comes to my team. I I know there's things that have to be fixed, and I know that uh, you know 18, 19, 20, 21 year old kids get caught up in you know the moment, and maybe the moment's too big. Uh, do, do you want to run over some stats from this game? Yeah, sure. We can go over those. Yeah, like I said, Hudson Card, 20 of 30, 277 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Bijan, 16 carries, 101 yards, uh, two touchdowns. I had that uh, long How of many 40. catches did he have? Uh, one, one, for one for 22. One for 22. Jordan Winnington, four for 53. Xavier Worthy, three for 50 in the touchdown. Jatavian Sanders, five for 40. Uh, Keelan Robinson, of course, the one for 35. Uh, for a touchdown, and why we don't get him more involved is beyond me. I've been uh, asking for that for a year and a half, so I don't know why. Uh, and if you like, if you look at, uh, we were we gave up thirty one first downs. Uh, they went six of eight on fourth down. Oh, gave up a total of four hundred seventy nine yards, three thirty one passing, one forty eight rushing, and the time of possession. 35 minutes and 54 seconds to our 24 minutes and six seconds. Yeah. And what I, they probably didn't even have that many yards for play, to be honest with you, because they were taking like guys, they were had like three play or three or four drives over 10 plays. Like they were dicing us up down the field. They're just getting five to six yards whenever they wanted it. And I don't like that for two, two reasons. It puts your offense on the sideline for a long period of time and they can't get a rhythm Two, it puts your defense out there for a long period of time and they get exhausted 
And it gives confidence in that offense as well that they're able to just get five to six yards every time. Like, if you can get five to six yards every time in a football game, you're going to win the game. And Texas Tech was able to win the game. And they won the turnover uh, differential too. Uh, two turnovers to zero on their part. 